16 the arthropods. Um, we're going to jump right in, take a look at our learning objectives. First of all, to be able to identify the characteristics of arthropods. Secondly, to dis describe the characteristics of insects and spiders. And lastly, to identify common insects as well as dangerous spiders here in California. Right? Uh, first of all, the phylum arthropoda. This is a uh, right phylum or a subcategory of the kingdom, the animal kingdom, which is what we're talking about right now. Some examples like lobsters, spiders, scorpions, millipedes, and all insects. There's over a million species of the phylum arthropoda. All right, some of their characteristics. First of all, the exoskeleton, right? Exo meaning outer or exit um, skeleton. The skeleton that is on the outer side, outside of the body. These are um, invertebrates, or they don't have a backbone. Okay. Uh, first of all, their exoskeleton. They have jointed appendages, right? Their legs or appendages are jointed. Body segmentation, right? Their body is broken down into categories like a head, thorax, and abdomen. All right. If you look at an ant, you can see it has a head, and then it's broken down. You'll see a middle section, and then finally, it's uh, you know the bottom section of the animal, the abdomen. All right, arthropods have an open circulatory system. That means that the blood doesn't stay in the vessels; it actually leaves into cavities to supply oxygen to its organs. It also has a ventral nervous system, meaning it has a brain and a nerve cord that goes down the back of the animal. All right. So these are the characteristics of arthropods, exoskeleton, body segmentation, open circulatory system, and ventral nervous system. And you should know the three body segmentations and what I mean by exoskeleton. All right? um, some other uh, different types of things that arthropods will have. Some of them have antenna. Some of them have compound eyes, and others have simple eyes. What is compound eyes? Compound eyes are uh, like a bee. He has like many, many eyes within its one eye, okay? Uh, crustacea, the phylum crustacea, these are the crayfish, like um, lobsters and things like this. And they regenerate part body parts, uh, which can be thought of as a form of asexual reproduction. All right, the phylum uh, Chelicerata. Okay, uh, within it you have the um, subcategory of arachnida, right? And I'm sure you've heard of arachnophobia, right? So arachnida is spiders. So arachnophobia is the fear of spiders. Okay, um, and you should know their characteristics, right? Four pairs of walking legs, right? We you should know spiders have eight legs, right? And this is for locomotion. Not internal movement, but locomotion, right? Moving of the actual organism. And the body of spiders is only broken down into two se uh, segments instead of three, as we talked about uh, before, the cephalothorax and the abdomen, right? They don't have antenna or mandibles, okay? Um, sorry about that. Uh, also, they obtain their oxygen or their respiration by what are known as hook lungs. All right, so different organisms have different ways of, uh, like birds have what are known as air sacs, while spiders have what are known as hook lungs. It's just a different uh, organ in their body that allows them to obtain oxygen, All right? Usually they have four pairs of simple eyes, okay? Uh, poisonous fangs, uh, and that's what makes spiders dangerous. And they also have pedipalps, which are their way of kind of sensing around, okay? Here's a picture of a spider, all right? And, uh, you know, kind of a hairy one. But this is a spider that you should be able to recognize because uh, they're very common in California and you might find them on, you know, plastic toys and the such. Uh, this is what's known as a brown recluse. You know it because it's got that lighter uh, abdomen all right, and so you can see here, this is the cephalothorax. It's all one piece, and then there's the abdomen. Whereas this, an ant might have a head, and then a thorax, and an abdomen. This is what's known as a cephalothorax, okay? And here is what's known as a black widow, 
Okay, you can tell because of the red dots. Sometimes they only have red on the underneath of them. Uh, we had one at our house not long ago, right? And there's the cephalothorax and the abdomen. You should be able to identify those different parts. And there's, you see these, these are the jointed legs or jointed body parts, okay? Part of the exoskeleton. Those are the two dangerous spiders you should know uh, in California. All right, moving on to insects, right? Their structures, they have three pairs of walking legs, so a total of six legs. Usually on insects, you can see the wings, all right? Not all insects can fly, but they still will have wings that are present, right? And we'll, sh we'll see a picture of an insect that has wings that doesn't really fly. Body is then divided into three segments, head, thorax, and abdomen, and they have one pair of sensory antennas, so two antennas, right? So if you think of an ant, you can see it's two little antennas. Um, and also, some insects have the ability to perform what's known as metamorphosis, which means to change or transform. Complete metamorphosis is just the process of development from going from an egg to the nymph and then to adult. Like uh, if you think about like a caterpillar going from egg and then to the nymph and then adult would be the butterfly. Okay. Um, just some examples of insects. You don't have to know all these, but it's just good to know, um, you know, Orthoptera, grasshoppers, cockroaches, odonata, dragonflies, and damselflies, coleoptron, beetles, lepidoptera, butterflies and moths, hymenoptera, bees, wasps, and ants, and diptera, flies, mosquitoes, and gnats. All right, so some pictures. All right, you've got a grasshopper here, okay, and a cockroach right here. And as you can see, here's the wing. Of the cockroach, even though it doesn't fly, still has a wing that's present. Praying mantis, damselfly, a dragonfly, and you should be able to tell the difference between the two. Right? There's a dragonfly, a beetle, a butterfly, and a moth. And of course, the bee, you can see it's got its two sensory antenna. This has two, the bee has two compound eyes. And you also have a head, thorax, abdomen, and wings. Three pairs of legs. And, um, you know, a wasp or a hornet. Head, thorax, abdomen, two sensory antenna, wings, three pairs of legs. Right? And easy to see an ant. Head, thorax, abdomen, three pairs of walking legs, two antenna. Right? So you should know there's a, a good little picture of a compound eye, as you can see in a fly. And you can see the tiny, tiny, tiny little eyes that it has within its larger eye. That's what's known as a compound eye. Okay, a mosquito biting someone's skin, head, thorax, abdomen, wings, three pairs of walking legs, sensory antenna. All right, another picture of a mosquito. All right, so that's chapter 16.